This is Mrs. Pagan, and this is a video guide for 6th grade science nervous system interactive notebook. Our first page should be a nervous system KWL chart. On your first page, next new page in the notebook, let's write down what I know, what I want to know, and what I learned. I have a comment here for you. Write five things that you know about the nervous system and five things that you want to learn about the nervous system. Then after you watch the videos on the nervous system, we're going to write five things that you have learned about the nervous system. Okay, And the videos, of course, are over here in my class. For Monday, we have several videos here for you to watch. Let's go back to the notebook. The next page in the notebook is a graphic organizer. This is really a tree map. In the center of the tree map, we have the nervous system. These boxes surrounding it are the functions of the nervous system. Our nervous system maintains consciousness. That means that you are aware of what's going on around you, coordinates our senses, responds to our senses. These are the five senses. Responsible for learning, responsible for memory. Our nervous system also controls our other body systems in maintaining homeostasis. What is homeostasis? Homeostasis is the ability to maintain a relatively stable internal state that persists despite all the changes in the world outside. All living organisms, from plants to puppies to people, must regulate their internal environment to process energy and ultimately survive. One example of how our body does homeostasis, how it tries to maintain homeostasis, is if we get too cold, our nervous system controls our other body systems and makes the hairs on our arms and legs stand up to try to maintain an internal warm temperature. Now, this is a diagram of the nervous system. Do your best to draw these diagrams. Be sure to draw the diagrams, label them, then lightly color with color pencils or crayons. No markers, please. The markers will bleed through your page. So here we have a human body, and we have the three main parts of the nervous system in this diagram. We have the brain. The function of the brain is to figure out the messages sent by the nerves and to tell the body what to do. The spinal cord. The spinal cord, the function is to carry messages to and from the brain. And then our nerves, the function of the nerves is to send signals and receive messages from the brain. So if we look back here, nervous system, then what I just showed you in the diagram is also related here. One part of our nervous system is the central nervous system, which includes our brain and spinal cord. Our peripheral nervous system contains our cranial nerves and our spinal nerves. Now, this is a diagram of a nerve cell. These are dendrites, cyton, the nucleus, nissel granules, hilum sheaf, the axiom, the node of Ranvier, and nerve terminals. Now here we have another diagram of the brain, and this diagram, this diagram, and this diagram might be difficult for you to see. So what I have done is if you will go over to Google Classroom, and let's roll over here where I have interactive notebook. And so here I posted some diagram pictures so if you're having difficulty seeing the diagrams in the nervous system interactive notebook, see these pictures. So we're going to click on this one. And this is a little bit easier for us. Here we have the frontal lobe, 
I know this is a lateral view. Parietal lobe, occipital, occipital lobe, that's a hard word to say. Cerebellum, brain stem, temporal lobe. And this is the cerebrum. And this includes all our lobes. Now here's the parts of the brain, a bottom view. Here we have the frontal lobe again, right here. Here's the olfactory bulb, our optic nerve. There's your pituitary, the temporal lobe, the pons, cerebellum. Here's the spine. And here is one of my favorite, another one of my favorite science words, medulla oblongata. Now, here we have a diagram showing here's a small brain. Just draw a little small brain here. Number one is the frontal lobe, ideas and thinking. Parietal lobe is your senses. Occipital lobe is your eyes and optical and seeing. Okay. Number four, your temporal lobe, hearing, emotions here. Brain stem, messages, heart. And their cerebellum controls the muscles here. So on these diagrams, just do the best that you can. Okay. I'm just asking you to do the best that you can with those diagrams. And I'll make a separate video to tell to read to you about the nervous system and to go over the informational text. If you want to work ahead, then please follow the instructions. You'll only need to copy the information that's in the red boxes.